Hi, my name's Iona Antwis from Loughborough Lightning and you're watching Women's Rugby Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, how are you? How has your week been? How's training been this week? Uh, training's been really, really good, actually. Um, I think... I think the girls have just got quite a lot high energy having a home game and going against Wasp. It's going to be a really competitive game. So I think loads of high energy. All the girls have been at training. It's been really, really good. Yeah. Obviously, prepping for this weekend, you've got Wasps on Saturday. Unfortunately, not at Haywood Road, obviously, with the weather, but at Chester. So how much are you looking forward to that game? I think it's going to be really, really good. And although we didn't intend for the game to be at Chester, I think it's a great opportunity for... Uh, women and girls in the northwest because like I know a couple of us are traveling from the Wirral so it'll be great to get uh, girls from that, that, that local area maybe it being more accessible for them since it being a bit closer to home so hopefully quite a big crowd at Chester they've got a big women and girls section themselves anyway and then um, I think the game is going to be really interesting obviously at last game at Haywood Road it was pretty muddy so quite a slow slow game but uh Chester's a 4G pitch so you quite nice and fast paced um hopefully our speedy wingers will enjoy it. Do you think yeah I was gonna say do you think the 4G pitch will kind of benefit you in terms of what's obviously what's played out at Twyford Avenue can be quite muddy, quite wet. So do you think it might be benefiting you this weekend? Yeah 100 percent I think with our game plan it could actually really work to our strengths. So fingers crossed it does. Um and we're hoping just to come out of this game with small wins and team and personal wins within it. So I think it should be a really, really good game. Where do you kind of see Wasps kind of strengths and weaknesses? Obviously, got quite hard to judge them. You don't know who's going to be in and out the side with the seven. So how tough is it to kind of judge what they're going to be like at the weekend? Uh, yeah, it is tough. It definitely is. And it's really easy as a club to say, are oh, there Wasps? Like, they're further up the league table than we are. But... So for us, it's about being the best, the best version of us. And uh, a motto that we have throughout the whole of Sail Sharks is 90, 90% us, 10% them. So it's really important that we just focus on being the best version of us so that we can take that into the game. And obviously, it was Quinns last weekend, slightly disappointing scoreline, but there's also always going to be positives to take out of games. So kind of what positive to take out of last weekend? I think for the team, it was really important to try and push past that 40 minute, 40 minute half that we're known for being really good at. So I'm really competitive at, I think um, the conditions weren't great, obviously with the wind and stuff like that in the stadium. But honestly, I think there are so many strengths that we can take from that game that we did as a team really, really well, that we're looking forward to carrying on into Wasps. And then hopefully uh, we can build on a couple of the errors or things that we didn't want to go up that didn't really go our way. Hopefully we can build on them against Wasps. And you mentioned that kind of having 40 minute performances. How have you been working on that as a team and training to kind of push past that, make sure you perform for 80 minutes? I think, I think as a team, like it's really, it's been really difficult for us to kind of put our finger on that, how we can go toe to toe with such great teams like Saracens and Bristol Bears in the first half and then tail off in the second half. So I think for us, it's as much as it's a physical battle, it is a mental battle as well. So as I spoke up before, the focus is all about being the best version of us for 80 minutes. So I think as a team, we've just tried to really push past that mental barrier and try our best to perform. And just whatever it is as an individual that makes it tick for you, we've got to keep it going for the whole 80 minutes. And also, obviously, the Doc Nuss this week and looking forward to the rest of the season. What kind of constitutes a successful rest of the season for yourself and Sale? Um, I think it will just be for team like teams against like Worcester. Um, the idea for us is to be as competitive as we can be. Like, obviously, we're going to develop our game and we want to push it past that 40 minute mark. And we are really, really working for that. I think. As a team, we want to be really collective and just using our gameplay and what Katie, Callum, Tails and Sia put into to training, just really take it with us and take on board every bit of feedback we can after every weekend. And we just really want to learn as much as we can and push on going forward and take those learnings with us. And obviously, where do you think the game's... Oh, sorry, fine. Where do you think the game's going to be kind of won or lost at the weekend? I don't think it'll be won or lost until that final whistle goes with the referee. So, as I've mentioned previously, like we're really working on as a team, as a collective, to like fight until that final whistle. Um, I genuinely believe that the girls have got it in them, 
and we're going to go at Wasps as hard as we can, taking in everything that we've learned up to now and what we've practised in training. Like, as a obviously, I'm a forward, so the forwards have got a lot of strength that we've already made so much improvements on over the past season. Like, our scrums have become so much stronger than they used to be. So I think knowing what we do well and continuing to do that, being as positive as we can and then just taking those small work-ons into the game and throughout the game, adapting and deciding what's going to work best for us as the game's going on. So, Daisy, thank you so much for chatting to us today. Um, best of luck for the weekend. Hopefully we'll speak to you after the game on the weekend as well. Perfect. Thank you, Sam.